Okay, so there, the connection between the diaspora sector here in the United States, all over the world, Poland, wherever there's Haitian, right? That's the diaspora sector. And we need to have like a deep connections with companies, corporations, well, companies, um, nonprofit organizations, mostly run by Haitians. I say mostly, right? People that are actually making a difference and you find out which one of these that actually is aligned with what you want to see accomplished in Haiti. So for instance, if you see a company that has like a road initiative, they actually build road in Haiti, right? And you see their progress, you see what they're doing, then you actually you sponsor them. If you see companies that are actually creating jobs in Haiti, like it's uh, say for instance, like let's say with coffee, with you know Itia, that's a company that my uh, one of my boys hooked me up with, which I need to start actually buying from them regularly now. Now that I actually have a house, and I can receive them stuff. <laughs> so that's another, another initiative I'm actually gonna have to, you know, make sure I support these things, because the more you make them bigger, then the more they will actually employ more people from Haiti, and then the more people are actually going to have jobs, right? And that's one thing. And it's like there's, we find also people that are, you know, corporations or people that actually care about, let's say, the security of Haiti, and they're actually providing solutions. If they are in line with what you're thinking, become part of that. I think that's what Haitians need to do instead of just like, you know, waving our Haitian flags, you know, every 18th of May or every, you know, 1st of January, we talk about Subjumu and our independence and how our forefathers did this and did that. Because, yes, it's great that we were the first country in the Caribbean to actually gain our independence. Now what? So we're just going to, like, stand on the shoulders of giant forever? It doesn't make any sense. No? So it's not just enough to just brag about how much Haitian you are. It's about doing the work that not too many people are willing to do. Donate your time or money or whatever you can to actually, um, you know. And it's it's difficult, right? Because every time we look at Haiti and every time I have this conversation with my mom, like when, it's like I have to have both, you know, so many di different perspectives when I talk to my family. Because if I just talk to my mom alone or people that actually see no hope in Haiti, then they'll surely tell me, it's like, yo, going over there is wasting your time. Haiti's not gonna change. Because people have been praying for Haiti to change for like forever, and that's not gonna happen. But that's the thing, though, we've been praying. You know, we're not, we're not doing it, we've been praying. And it's very difficult to ask anybody to put themselves in danger in, in Haiti. So, okay, if we're not doing that, then what about those people who already are in the front line? Should we then do whatever we can to actually, you know, supply in their fight? To actually make sure that, okay, yeah, they, not, they may not have the opportunity to actually escape the hellhole, but they're trying to reduce the hellhole and make it better, right? Or you even have some of them that already escaped the hellhole, but actually went back to make sure that they, you know, they have a deeper root in Haiti. So they try to actually, you know, create a bigger tree, a bigger foundation there, right? So, what do we do? We keep them fed, we keep, you know, we keep their supply going as Haitians. We make sure that their fights is also our fight, whatever it is, whether it's supporting their, their uh, businesses or their activism or whatever it is, we support it. You know, first, do your homework, obviously. You don't want to just support any type of corporation, then you're just wasting your money. But I also don't advise anybody to just, you know, turn Haiti into a charity case because that's the part that pisses off a lot of diaspora as well, where they feel like they feel obligated to constantly give in to like a family member. And it's like, try to create jobs and opportunities more than you actually give charities. You know, the whole thing, give them in a fish type of thing. So that's my point when it comes to Haiti. So I might not have all the answers, like some of the questions that you, you guys asked me, right? You know, I have all, all I have is theories but until I actually put these things into practice that's all it's gonna be just theories right so I don't have the answers all I could do is actually not just fantasize but actually try to turn the fantasy into a, a plan 
and then from a plan to a reality. That's it. And also, open up the conversation. You guys can tell me what the hell you guys think. What do you think are some of the solutions for Haiti? <laughs>